27 minutes gone, his punch out was collected by Ian McCall, whose chip was goal bound when Tony Mowbray saved it. An automatic red card for him. And Tommy McQueen scored from the spot to put Falkirk ahead. But Celtic didn't waste any time in getting back on level terms. Within the minute, Falkirk keeper Gordon McDougall upended Andy Payton at the cost of a penalty. But proceedings were halted as a missile thrown from the terracing struck referee Martin Clark on the head. After medical treatment, he resumed, booked McDougall and recorded Darius Dubcek's penalty equaliser. One-one at half time, but within a minute of the restart, ten-man Celtic were ahead. John Collins' shot blocked, but Jenny Craney on hand to coolly put his side into the lead. Ten minutes later, it was all squared again. Eddie May ripped open the Celtic defence. Scott Sloan's effort was deflected, and Ian McCall scored. We then had three crazy minutes. 67 minutes gone and McCall's free kick beat the wall and the keeper and ended up in the net. 3-2 to full kick. 90 seconds later, Scott Sloan started off on a run down the left, outpaced McNally, lost his boot and cut back for Eddie May to score. 4-2 to full kick. 60 seconds after that, John Collins' corner was headed on by Slater and Andy Payton pulled it back to 4-3. The Celtic fight-back was definitely on now. Four minutes later, Falkirk lost their extra man advantage when Forbes Johnston was booked for the second time. He took an early trip up the tunnel. Ten men each and with 13 minutes remaining, Jenny Craney headed Celtic back on level terms. Four each now and the Parkhead team hunting the winner. They got it with less than a minute to go. John Collins capping an incredible fight back with a goal to end it at Falkirk 4, Celtic 5. <laughs>